This year, we have seen many new apps for Mac. So in this video, I wanted to show you my favorite Mac apps that I found or got a big update this year. The first one is Beeper. It's like the Swiss army knife of chat apps. The idea is pretty neat. Instead of hopping between different messaging apps to keep up with your conversations, Beeper brings them all together into one place. It means you could be typing away to a friend on WhatsApp, then switch to a Slack channel for work, and maybe shoot a message through iMessage, all without leaving Beeper. You can of course connect it to other messaging apps like Instagram and Facebook Messenger just within a minute. With everything in one spot, your chats are more organized and you don't miss messages because they're hidden in an app you forgot to check. And now, if you're on Android and want to join iPhone-only group chat, Beeper Mini, which is their new app, lets you send and receive those blue bubble texts from iPhones. But I heard that Apple might not allow that, and there's no guarantee if this will keep on working. So you might want to try it out because I think it has a free trial. There are some great web browsers for Mac, uh, but Sigma OS might be the one with the biggest improvement this year, in my opinion. Sigma OS is a web browser designed specifically for Mac OS and it comes with a set of features to improve productivity and the user experience while surfing the web. For instance, you can have multiple workspaces which are essentially dedicated areas for different tasks or projects. This way you can keep tabs and pages related to work separate from, say, your leisure reading or shopping list. Uh, one of the noteworthy features is Iris, your AI companion within the browser. It is designed to work alongside you as you browse. It's accessible from this sidebar and you can ask it any questions and uh, more and more web browsers are adding their own AI features, but this is one of the best ones I've seen so far. My another favorite browser is Arc. I've been using it for about a year now. It also has similar features to Sigma OS, but I guess their AI feature might not be as good as Sigma OS. But still, it comes with a mobile app, which is great if you want to access your bookmarks and the, and the tabs on the go. And also, an um, honorable mention goes to Cosmic, which is a very unique web browser for Mac. It's like um, a whiteboard with the ability to browse the web. Uh, so you can save your favorite web pages, photos, videos, and so on on a whiteboard and organize them as you like. If you like a visual way to use the internet, this is definitely for you. Now, speaking of Mac, today's sponsor Moft makes high quality ergonomic accessories for your devices. I've been a huge fan of their products for a long time because they're both functional and aesthetically pleasing. One of my favorite products is their smart desk mat, which can transform any surface into a smart workspace. It comes with many accessories such as a wireless charger, magnetic book and tablet holders, and cable organizers, so you can customize your workspace to your liking. So uh, whether you are reading a book, working on your laptop, or studying, this smart desk mat can help you create a more productive and comfortable workspace. Plus, if you tap your phone on it, it will automatically start playing your favorite playlist or enable do not disturb mode. This is because there are NFC tags hidden inside it, and you can customize what happens when you tap on them to make it effortless to launch your favorite apps in a second. So if you struggle to keep your desk tidy like I do, this product can help you stay organized and focused. You can get 10% off using the discount code SHIROMI10. Check out Moft and their smart desk mat from the link in the description. Okay, when it comes to AI Assistant, there are now lots of great options. Rewind, Barely, Ember, and Text Cortex. Honestly, they are all great. I made a full review of all of them, so I won't be going into detail. Essentially, they let you talk to AI instantly on your Mac. You can ask it questions, have it summarize a, a document, a website, email, and so on. It's a huge time saver, and it's a great way to get help when you need it. Each app offers similar features, but there are slight differences. For example, Ember lets you use some plugins for ChatGPT like Metaphor and Google Search. And Barely comes with a marketplace for prompts, so you can get the best ones for different purposes right away. Rewind is a bit of a special one because it records everything you do on your computer so you can rewind and replay it later or ask it any questions about what you did, like what you saw on a website, what emails you received, and so on. Therefore, it can give you more personalized responses. But personally, I've been using this one called Text Cortex, which is also a personalized AI assistant with a different approach. Instead of recording your screen like Rewind, you can choose what you want it to remember by uploading your notes, documents, and files. This lets you ask it anything about them or have AI to write something for you based on the information you provided. 
Also, there are tons of ways to customize it to make it even sound like you. You can check out my full review if you're interested. Now, Fabric is my favorite digital filing cabinet tool. It's the place I store all of my bookmarks, articles, videos, memoirs, and files so I can find them easily when I need them. It's kind of like my Google Keep or Apple Notes replacement. Um, essentially, it's a self-organizing library that not just stores your notes, files, and ideas, but also automatically links them together so you don't have to manually organize them. I have it installed on my Mac and mobile so I can save anything quickly. When I'm on my laptop, I can use its app and the browser extension to save web pages, screenshots, and notes. Also, I often jot down ideas or things I need to remember as a note, just like people use Google Keep. And all the things you saved will be in your inbox. You can create spaces, which are like folders for different topics or projects, which you can share with other people so you can collaborate on them. I like that it shows similar items, which makes it easier to find what you're looking for or discover some things you forgot you saved it before. Also, to make it even easier to find things, it has this AI assistant in the bottom right corner of your screen. You can ask it to find something for you or ask some questions, and then it will generate an answer based on what you saved. I find this really useful because it saves a lot of time from searching for things manually. Having a digital filing cabinet like this is really useful. Um, no more digging through folders and files or trying to recall where you saved that important snippet of information. And the beauty is that it's suited for anybody, whether you're doing a serious research or managing personal projects by providing one home for everything in your digital space. Rise is my favorite app to help me focus. It's a complete toolkit for staying productive and getting things done. I use it to block distracting websites and apps, start a focus timer, and play some music to relax and maintain concentration. But the main thing of this app is a time tracker. It keeps track of your activities on your computer so you can see how much time you waste on distractions and how much time you actually spend working. Then you can add that distracting website to your blacklist so you can focus better next time. It's a really good tool for improving your productivity in general. Blocks is a new app that I've been using in meetings. When you are in a meeting, you have to pay attention to what people are saying and also take notes at the same time, right? But Blocks can take notes for you automatically and even create a list of actual items and the summary so you can focus on the meeting, not on writing. Blocks is easily accessible from the menu bar or keyboard shortcut. You can start recording a meeting instantly or create a new note so you can jot down a few thoughts or to-dos in a few seconds. So if you're looking for a simple way to take notes and tasks on your Mac, this app is a great solution. Now, when it comes to serious note-taking apps, there are many options. Most of them are not Mac exclusives, but Anytime has that Apple Notes vibe to it. I like the simple, clean design and the fact that it's available on iPhone and Android too. It's kind of like Apple Notes on steroids. It's great for just jotting down quick thoughts and creating lists, but also for writing longer documents and for organizing your life. Heptabase is another one that's gaining a lot of traction lately. You can take notes like you do usually, but also put them in an infinite canvas so you can visually organize them. If you're a fan of mind mapping, this might be the best app for that right now. But speaking of Mac app, my favorite note app, Ampu Note, recently released a Mac app. This is the one that I've been using it for years now. It's some all in one note app with a great task management system and a calendar. So you can take notes as well as organize your to dos and schedule tasks all in one app. I got lots of videos about it. If you're curious, um, check this video out for why it's my favorite productivity app. All right, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching till the end, and uh, I will see you in the next one. Bye.